everybody won. The triumph of the nerds, an irreverent history of the PC industry. There is so much to talk about tonight. You know, it doesn't make any difference where you live. Uh, the computer revolution is going to be a major part of your life if it is not already. We have some nice premiums for you. We have the Accidental Empires book. This is the, the, the book that uh, really kind of laid it all out for everybody as to what happened uh, with the development of the home computer and uh, the, the tremendous explosion in business that occurred when it came about. That's at the $50 level. Then we have the three video set of Triumph of the Nerds at the $125 level. I want to talk to you about getting that set of videos. Uh, I think that if, if you take a look at this industry, uh, you will see in, in maybe 20, 30, 40 years that where we are right now is not even, uh, even close to the end of the story. Uh, this, is, this is not a beginning and ending story tonight because where the computer industry is right now is still in its infancy. When you see what the, what the computer explosion is going to take place in the, in the first half of the 21st century, this will be back playing with Tinker Toys. And the interesting part is you'll have the tape of the beginnings of something that is going to change the world. Uh, an accidental uh, empire, maybe. Maybe it was accidental, but I, I just can't believe that intelligence is an accident. And you can call it uh, the, uh, the, the triumph of the nerds. I call it the triumph of intelligence. Uh, kind of like, who would, ev who would ever want anything like a home videotape machine, folks? I mean, my goodness, videotape was made for professional television. No, it see. See where it goes. At the $150 level, you now have three videos that will list for you for as long as you've got the tapes. The true history of how, really, what will be the mega industry of the 21st century got started the mega industry and if you think that you're going to see uh, the end of the story tonight because some people got very very fortunate and made a lot of money good for them by the way bravo but that's not the end of the story nor you know e e as long as we've got many chips making many many chips making many 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 chips there's no end there is no end in sight we are at the very beginning and you're in on the ground floor with a history that really, I think, is of fantastic interest. Uh, we've only seen a very little bit of it. I, I realize that at the beginning of the show. But right now, I would hope that if you have anybody in your house, anybody in your house who's interested in computers, that you call and get these tapes. They will become of historical value to you over a period of time because this is just the beginning of a fantastic industry. We're on the beginning, not the end. And we're here. Call us. Hello, I'm Jim Gallagher. I was I wasn't paying says it there. I wasn't paying attention there when George was talking about chips. I thought he was talking about French fries. He's talking about, of course, everything that goes in the heart of, of computers. And it's interesting because even the most unlikely of us, and I'm thinking about myself in particular, been dragged kicking and screaming into this century and having to learn about computers. And I've been sitting watching this program in the in the, the room there where I put my makeup on and stuff like that absolutely fascinating I don't know why I haven't seen a program like this before I just I find this whole thing absolutely fascinating as I'm sure you do nice thing about it is you're watching it on channel 9 and it's only channel 9 that's going to bring you programming like this but channel 9 can only bring you this kind of programming if we get your support you can see from the screen over 43 percent of the income from channel 9 comes from people like you people who are sitting at home enjoying this program if you're enjoying it i would ask you go to the television t telephone this is a television telephone is the one you speak into and dial right i'll get it right go to the telephone become a subscriber thanks a lot and when you do go and make that important call to channel nine to become a subscriber we send lots of good things your way too not just great programs like you're enjoying this evening but also nine magazine and this is a very important part of what we do here at channel nine nine magazine comes to you it's your guide to what's on channel nine for the month It's full of articles and other uh... things about what's going on here at the station uh... articles about local productions that are underway articles about national productions that are coming your way on channel nine also have a complete schedule of those of you who 
who are busy and want to set your VCRs to catch a program you may have missed, that's the thing for you. Only comes to our subscribers, so if you're interested in getting Nine Magazine, call us now. Very easy. Call the number at the bottom of your screen, and the wonderful volunteers here will take your pledge. I want to do the premiums because in my usually efficient style, I forgot one. <laughs> After a while, it just sort of goes on. Okay. The Accidental Empire, the book. Uh, this, this is a fantastic story about really some of the, the uh, very, very private, if you will, goings on inside the industry as it started and as it is going on now. That's at the $50 level. We have the Triumph of the Nerds, the three video set. That's really what we're watching tonight, folks. It's at the $125 level and will become, I think, one of the landmark tapes of the start of this fantastically already successful business then the book and the video this is the one I forgot the book and the videos all three of the videos and the book at the $150 level uh, once again grandmas and grandpas let me let me remind you if you have uh, grandchildren who are interested in computers please get them these uh, it, it will be a value to them and it will be meaningful to them probably more meaningful them to them than it would be to us but this is this is the future now the wave of the future please call we were discussing here whether or not all of our computer fans out there are maybe plugged into the internet and those of you who are interested KCTS does have a home page if you're gifted with computers you can find it just uh, connect with KCTS they'll be you'll be able to pledge over the internet if you would like on our web page but we're also here to tell those of you who are watching this wonderful program and it is fascinating to see how this industry came about that we really would like to hear your call and hear your pledge of support our premiums as George was listing them what are those that uh, you probably could go out and find a copy of this program and buy it at your local video store but you would not be giving the support to public television which is the program the entity that is bringing you the program so do something nice for yourself something nice for us call us now give us a pledge of support we'll be glad to get one of those great premiums in the mail to you right away thanks they called them names they gave them titles and epitaphs if you will uh, but all they did was discover a brand new way of living and we're going back now to see part two of exactly what happened when the nerds triumphed and we got home computers. The next segment you'll see when uh, these, uh, these amateur people, these nerds as they call them on the program, meet up with uh, with big business and they win <laughs> that's the nice part i think okay we've got some good premiums for you the accidental empire's book uh it, it deals with what happened at the beginning and, and how these people who were so interested in computer and computer technology found the the button if you will that sparked the interest of an, a worldwide market, not just a North American market, but a worldwide market that is just beginning, really, to be exploited. The, the book at the $50 level, The Triumph of the Nerds, the three video set, the programs that we're watching right now, the story of, of how this all came about and where it is as of today at the $125 level. That is a three video set, and I have a feeling that will become kind of a landmark program in the uh, in the world of uh, computers and the history of the computer industry and where the industry is going i don't think we have really much of any idea it's uh, the the future is so broad so wide that the business can become absolutely phenomenal not that it's not doing too bad right now and then the book and the video that's both of the premiums at the 150 dollar level once again i want to talk to you moms and dads uh, grandpas and grandmas who have young people uh, particularly those who have shown any kind of interest in computers uh, might even be having some problems you know with uh, with some other things in school but if if you have the opportunity of supporting an interest like that please do that please do that it is good for them it is good for society it's good for everybody and it would be good I think if you would go to the phone right now and stop listening to me and call the telephone number and subscribe some dollars so that public television can continue to bring you programs that challenge and get your children going and get us going too. please we need your help right now uh, it's time to stop listening it's time to start doing if public television is going to continue to bring you programming like this it must have the dollars that's the bottom line call us
You know, I always think that one of the best things that PBS does is to bring us wonderful history programming, and tonight I think it's a great example. We are seeing the history of the computer industry right here, and just as important as the West or the Civil War is to understanding history, I think this program will be the same way, to understand that only 20 years ago, there, no one had a computer. Uh, the very fast pace that this revolution came about, who brought it about, who were the major players, this is a wonderful program. And if this is the kind of programming that you like and enjoy, and as George says, wonderful for your family, for you to share with your family, please do give us a call right now, because it's you, you and your neighbor and everyone down the street that keeps PBS going. Our subscriptions bring in 43% of the income that comes into the station and helps us produce and, and broadcast these wonderful programs. It's very simple that it's up to you, and it's through these pledge drives that we get your support. So it's so important for you now, as George said, more than ever, for us to keep good programming on the air, for you to show us with your dollars. So give us a call now. This is a fascinating program that's on tonight. I don't know about you, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's telling me a story that, uh, that I've certainly got a lot of interest in, and I'm sure you have as well. I wonder how many people who are actually interested in it, who would like to hear this story, are out tonight enjoying the good weather, enjoying the last of the, the, last of the summer, or still on vacation. This program is brought to you by Channel 9. Channel 9 is responsible for bringing you these types of programs, this type of stuff. It's not slashing and crashing and banging and not lots of sex. Although I wondered earlier on when we saw the two guys taking their pants off to get into the hot tub what was coming. But it's Channel 9 that brings you this kind of television. It brings you interesting and informative television. And Channel 9 can only do that with your support. The people who are sitting at home who are enjoying this program just now, we're dependent on people like you to become subscribers. If you're not already a subscriber, I would ask you to give it some serious consideration. It really is not a major commitment, but you, one person, will make a difference. You can help, you can help to ensure that Channel 9 continues to bring you the kind of programming that we're watching tonight. I hope, like me, you're enjoying this program. If you are, I would ask you, go to the phone and become a subscriber. Thank you. You know, when you can go like that and represent all the people calling to support your public television station, I'm here to tell you folks, your public television station is in deep, deep trouble. Well, that's how many people we got on the phone right now, okay? Uh, it isn't going to happen with that kind of support, s especially since we know that there are literally tens of thousands of people out there and that the interest in the computer industry transcends all national borders, has nothing to do with the border between the United States and Canada. Everyone is interested in this, and this is the history not of a U.S. industry or a Canadian industry, a worldwide industry. Now, how much, it, it, it's not about premiums. This, the calls tonight are not about premiums. The calls tonight are about do you support a television service that brings you information and programming like this. And if you do, how much do you support? Well, is public television worth $100 a year to you? Well, let me put that a different way. Is public television worth 28 cents a day to you? Because that's what a $100 contribution to Channel 9 represents. And actually, it's a little less than 28 cents a day. Now think about that, 28 cents a day for a program like this, 28 cents a day for McNeil Lair, 28 cents a day for Sesame Street, for the kids, uh, 28 cents a day for Nature and Nova and Masterpiece Theater and Mystery and Lawrence Welk. Is it worth $100 a year to you? Is it worth 28 cents a day for to you? If it is, where are you? For goodness sakes, where have you gone? Ten people, folks, won't do it. And if you think that doesn't scare me, you're wrong, because it scares me right down to my ears, okay? It's, it's not going to happen. Public television cannot make it. Now, if you're interested in a premium, for heaven's sakes, get one if you qualify. You'll enjoy it, and you'll enjoy having the information. At the $50 level, the book uh, that, that everyone really takes as kind of the... Uh, the official history, if you will, or unofficial history of the computer industry, Accidental Empire, uh, the Triumph of the Nerds, the video set, the three video set that you're watching right now on KCTS 9, a set that someday will be a landmark television effort about the beginning of the computer industry. And it's something that I think you'll be very proud to have in your home, particularly those of you involved in this industry. At the $150 level, well, you get it all. You get both. Okay, you get the book and the video. But remember, it's not about books, it's not about videos, it's about public television, your involvement with public television, and the worth that you place on your involvement with public television. 
If it isn't worth 28 cents a day, don't call, okay? But if it is, then maybe you want to consider a $100 contribution to Channel 9. You can do the math yourself to figure out where your budget fits in, but then you'll get some idea of just how, what value you're placing on your public television station, and I think it works. I know we need your help. Otherwise, I wouldn't talk to you so long. Please call. And we're about, I'm, I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to give George 28 cents a day just for listening to that. A wonderful, uh, wonderful reminder about how little it really costs to keep great programming coming to you. And even for your 28 cents a day, you get Nine Magazine 12 times a year. Only for subscribers, call us now if you'd like to receive this very important premium, too. I guess George's message must have got through. Everybody who was a supporter of Channel 9 must have stuck their head out the door and said, hey, listen, George is waiting on a phone call. The phone's on ringing down there. You better get in here and get, get on the phone. Otherwise, KCTS 9's in trouble because the phones have certainly picked up. Thank you very much. I'm interrupting the guy next to me and the lady here. But listen, George is right on the money. It's absolutely vitally important. If you enjoy public broadcasting, if you enjoy Channel 9, go to the phone. And please, that includes you people up in Canada as well. Thanks a lot. We're going to go back to the show, but during the next segment, please think about supporting Channel 9. Jim's is right. You know, if, if, if people don't call, we're in trouble. Uh, you can, I guess, phrase that a lot of different ways, but that's the fact. Let's go back to the, uh, the Triumph of the Nerds, Part 3. Microsoft got it, and the economy of the Northwest was never the same again. Uh, and, and I think that's going to be uh, much truer, perhaps, in the future than it is even right now. We have another half of this program to go, and I, I think already uh, those of you, particularly those of you who are involved in the, uh, the computer industry, uh, you're already seeing some things in here that, that you may or may not have known, but to see them on videotape, uh, boy, some memories, huh? Again, I, I, I want to impress upon you that this tonight is not so much about premiums, although I think we've got some, some you know, good premiums if you're interested in computers, are very good premiums. It is more about supporting a public television station that is interested in what you're interested in and brings you programs that are absolutely fascinating. That's what this is about. So we ask you to go to the phone and call right now. Uh, the, the, the last break was not all that bad. The first break... Uh, I don't know how you spell disaster in computer language, but uh, if, if it's zero, zero, one, whatever, uh, it was disaster, folks. But we need you to go to the phone and call right now. And I, I want to remind all of you folks uh, who work for Microsoft, for example, Microsoft, through the management of Microsoft, matches your contribution to Channel 9 dollar for dollar. Did you know that? In other words, if you call up and subscribe $100, Microsoft will also give $100. Not you don't give 200, you give 100, but Channel 9 gets 200. Now, if you don't think that's serious money to Channel 9, I want you to sit back down and think all over again. At the premium level, if, if you want one of the premiums, for heaven's sakes, get one. But remember, it's support night at Channel 9. It is put your dollars behind your quality television night at Channel 9. It is not a premium night. But if you want a premium, the Accidental Empires book, I have read about 20 pages of that so far tonight, and... Uh, I'm going to read it all because it reads like a novel, and yet it is a history of something that has actually happened and is happening. The book at the $50 level, The Triumph of the Nerds, the program you're watching right now, you've only seen half of it. It is a three-video set for a $125 uh, subscription, and at the $150 subscription level, the book and the videos. I hope you will take the opportunity to call us. We need your help. I, I, I hope that we made that plain to you during the last break. Uh, so now it, it really kind of, as they say in tennis, ball in your court. Hit it back. Okay, make that call. <laughs> Hello again. Some of you are probably watching and you're thinking that What's he doing down here? Because it's Wednesday night and he usually comes on Thursdays for misery. They asked me to come down tonight because the name of the program is a dead giveaway, Triumph of the Nerds, you know. 
you know, that's that's me. Actually, to be a nerd, you have to be intelligent, you know, so that, that rules me out. Studious, maybe, but hey, are you enjoying the programme? I hope you are. We're th I'm thoroughly enjoying the programme, and in fact, it's one of the few programmes when I've been down here, all the audience, all the, the people that are answering the telephones, we're actually sitting watching it in the main studio here, and silence, you can hear it, everybody's interested. Now, there's a lot of people who'll be watching this programme who work for Microsoft, hey? And they're all saying to themselves, he bought a system for $50,000, $50, right? And look what I got today. Everybody knows who Microsoft is. You touch a keyboard of a computer, you're into Microsoft. And that's what these guys did. If you're enjoying this program, and as I say, we all are here, I would say to you, it's time to put your money where your enjoyment is. It's time to become a subscriber. KCTS9 depends on people like you. Now, if you're an employee of Microsoft, don't forget, Microsoft has a matching grant. So if you subscribe, whatever you subscribe, Microsoft matches it. Many companies do. If your company's part of the matching program, don't forget to mention it because your money will then go a lot further, help to buy more of this enjoyable programming. So please, go to the phones, become a subscriber. It will be worth your while. Thanks a lot. You know, one of the things I love about public television is the way that it tells stories. And tonight I think we're seeing a great example of that. We are seeing, help, being told the story of how the computer industry began. And it's wonderful to see, to capture those moments, as Jim was saying, about buying something for $50,000. These are the kind of things that public television does best. Brings history right to you, tells you the stories that matter in your lifetime. If this is important to you, the only way that we can keep good television programming like this on the air is for you to support your public television. That's us. That's KCTS. And whether you're in the U.S. or the British Columbia, if you're enjoying the programs, if you're using them, if your family sits down and watch Sesame Street in the morning, if you end your day with um, the Lara News Hour, please do show your support. Now is the time for you to call, show your support, show your support of your family, and keep this great thing, which is public television, going. Give us a call now. You want to know where this business is going? Everything that's happening now includes microchips, right? Uh, Jim Gallagher and I just went upstairs, uh, Mark Pingry, who does all our photography for our over-series uh, photography, videotaping, uh, videographer, uh, took us upstairs to show us some of over British Columbia, which will be premiering in October. I am here to tell you folks that if you need a reason to give money uh, to support this station, just to look in in October and take a look at over British Columbia and realize what we have done with your dollars and you will be so pleased and so proud and so impressed i mean i know you folks in british columbia know how beautiful your province is but you've never seen it like this nah, never please give us a call those of you who are calling thank you very much realize the importance of what you're doing public television is truly in your court now it is your decision as to whether or not public television will grow like this industry this this computer industry this computer explosion if public television could grow like that wouldn't we be in wonderful shape watching good programming in our homes and would we have to worry about what our children are watching no i don't think we would please call that number 1-800-443-1999 anywhere in washington british columbia i never give the number do i well i did so call I think the difficulty with people is not so much that they have to pay more in taxes, but that they don't know where it's going and they can't see what it's doing for them. That's an, an incredible frustration. With Channel 9, when you pledge money to Channel 9, you can say, all right, I'm going to give this much, and then you tune it in, and over the next few weeks or few months, you can say, well, I helped contribute to that. Hey, that was Bob Robertson, my favorite, my favorite comedian and one half of Double Exposure, Canada's famous, or should I say infamous, uh, radio comedy team, and they do great impersonations, and, and good job, Bob. Listen, if you're watching Channel 9 tonight, if you're enjoying the program, there's only one thing I would like you to do. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd like you to go to the phone and become a subscriber, because Channel 9 needs the support of viewers like you. Everybody's sitting at home and they think, well, maybe next time, maybe next week, maybe next month, maybe next pledge driver, maybe Joe next door will do it. But it's people like you, we need you to go to the phone and become a subscriber. When you think about the program we're watching tonight, just to refer to it a little bit, Bill Gates and his partner, the people that have developed this company, you think of the vision they had that Bill Gates was able to see exactly the potential in personal computers. And you hold that in contrast to the chairman of IBM who, back in the late 1940s, 
said that he could see maybe a worldwide requirement for about maybe eight computers. Eh, wrong, you know. But that's Bill Gates. He's been able to see a worldwide requirement for lots of computers. We're seeing all of that tonight. We hope you're enjoying it. If you are, if you like it, support it. Thanks a lot. If you like it, support it, and you know that you are supporting it if you get your Nine magazine. Uh, if it comes to you once a month, that means you're a subscriber. Not, it means that you may be up for a renewal. So check if you've received your Nine magazine recently. It's a wonderful four-color magazine that comes to all of our subscribers, regardless of what, if you have a $200 premium or if you just give the minimum. But it's a wonderful magazine that tells you all about what's going to be on Channel 9 that month, plus articles about what the station's up to in local productions and national productions coming your way. So, a very very, very valuable gift with your support for Public Television 9 Magazine. Call now and we'll get you all signed up. Okay, the premiums. Let's do them very quickly. Accidental Empires by Robert X. X. Cringely uh, at the $50 level. This is the book that really tells the story in, in really a novel form. I, I think uh, like a novel. It reads like a novel. It's something you don't want to put down. Tremendous uh, recommendation from Tom Peters on that, by the way. Then the, at, that's at the $50 level. The three videos of the uh, Triumph of the Nerds at the $125 level and both premiums at the $150 level. I cannot help but think tonight that, that those of you who are interested in and involved in the computer industry are, are seeing a tremendous story unfold before you, even though you might have even taken part of, in it. It is more than the development of something that happened, as they say, by accident. It is more than the development of a product. It is the recognition of a market and the, and the ability to find that market, appeal to that market, and develop it into a worldwide market. Uh, I have the same feeling uh, that it must have happened with uh, uh, Sony when they were developing uh, and, and working on videotape. You know, what was videotape for? Well, it was for television stations to use to produce programs so they didn't have to use kinescope film anymore. But nobody thought that you'd have videotape in your homes, folks. Nobody. And now don't we all have a videotape machine? The technology that is happening as we live today is perhaps the most exciting thing that has happened maybe in 200 years. And the changes that are about to take place are just fantastic and you're involved in it. Isn't that nice? Please call and support this. and We'll bring you more information about the things that you're interested in. Why? Because we're involved in it. We're going high definition television. We're going digital transmission. It's all involved in those little chips, isn't it? Please call and support this. The sooner the story gets out, the better off everybody will be. Hmm? A reminder, there is a full hour of the program left to go, so don't you go away. Uh, I want to do the premiums very, very quickly here, if we can. Uh, the Accidental Empires, the book of, of the history that uh, I swear reads like a novel, at the $50 level, the, the story of, of what happened when we suddenly went computer. Uh, the Triumph of the Nerds, the videos that we're watching this evening, the entire series we're watching this evening, three videos at the $125 level. I swear these tapes will become landmark tapes uh, as we look back on the history of the computer business uh, and the book and the video set at the one hundred and fifty dollar level there, there was an interesting part of uh, the last segment that that i that really just kind of went right in and 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 sat there and said that's why and the, and the reason i think that microsoft is so so successful is that they are not satisfied that they see a tremendous future and a tremendous explosion of new and, and different technology coming uh, out of what they now have and they are just simply not satisfied and they're going to continue on and they're also pretty darn good neighbors to have uh, they have been very generous to channel nine i want to remind those of you who work for microsoft uh, in calling to subscribe tonight and you are going to aren't you uh, that microsoft itself will match your subscription dollar for dollar now that that's just one of the companies that does it but of course we're talking about computers tonight we're talking about microsoft so it applies in in i think very direct relationship to you those of you who are employed by microsoft this evening i also want to remind you of, of what i talked about during the last break that a hundred dollar subscription to channel nine is a little less than twenty eight cents per day to your public television station so what's the next question is public television worth twenty eight cents a day to me or to my family or to my children or to my grandchildren and if the answer is yes 
get on the phone and call us right now. How many phones do we have going right now, James? We have nine. Eight. Eight. Uh, eight is not going to produce a program like this, and, and you know that. You, you have some idea, you people in computer work probably have a pretty good idea of what it would take to put this program together uh, with all of the travel and the research and the editing and, and the continuity and the, and the scripting, etc. Uh, the interviews and the arranging for the interviews, it is expensive and it can't happen without viewer support. So stop listening to me, okay? Just say, George, mm -hmm, do that and you go to the phone and call at whatever level your budget says you can. But make the call now, we need your help. That a way to go call. really is a wonderful program and those of you who work for Microsoft I hope you're there taking notes of what's going on and uh, like nice to know what your lifestyle is uh, it sounds pretty tough over there but uh, hope that you are relaxing by your television this evening and maybe calling to show your support for public television such a vital part of our community uh, bringing you good intelligent programming on a nightly basis why are we asking you every now and then to give your money to Channel 9 just because you are so important 43 percent of our income Come, comes from subscribers just like you uh, and our friends in Port Orchard and people in British Columbia and all over Western Washington who say, you know, I like something more on television. I like better television. I like more intelligent television. If that's what you're looking for in your life, please do your part to keep the good programs on Channel 9 going. The only way you can do that is by calling the number you see at the bottom of your screen, talking very quickly with one of our volunteers, and they'll sign you up to be a subscriber to Channel 9 and keep good television on the air. Very important, so give us a call now. Thank you, Shannon. You know, during, during the break there, uh, while we were watching the program, I was also talking to one of the volunteers who were here answering the telephone, and she was telling me, you know, she says, I like Channel 9, she says, I love the programming they bring me, she says, and we are supporters, but you know, I've got to tell you, she says, during these pledge breaks, she says, as soon as George shows up, she says, we kill the sound, and we go and put in some laundry, we uh, make a pot of coffee, get a sandwich, get some nibblies, or uh, tidy up the place. Well, let me tell you something. That just doesn't cut it. It's all very well, and everybody has to do it, and you've got to do it sometime. But the fact of the matter is, if everybody does it all the time, there ain't going to be any supporters for Channel 9. And if we don't have any supporters for Channel 9, there isn't going to be any Channel 9. You're going to be the one that's going to lose the programming that you obviously value. So if you do value it, I would say to you, let the laundry go this time. Forget the sandwich, forget the coffee. Pick up the phone. Now's the time to become a subscriber. Please. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Jim comes down from Vancouver and all uh, the folks up in British Columbia who support Channel 9 so generously and for such a long period of time. You know, quality television does not recognize international borders. Uh, I'm, I'm not so sure that it, it even violates intellectual borders because so many times I run into people who say, you know, I, I watch that program on Channel 9 and it, it gave me a little bit of a different perspective on a subject that I'd had very strong feelings about for a long period of time. That's a good thing, folks. Tonight is not a night about premiums. No more than, uh, than I guess, uh, the story of, of computers is about trying to guess the future. We're not going to guess it. Uh, here in the Northwest, thanks to the leadership of Microsoft and some others, we're going to make that history. Uh, you're talking to somebody who is not, by any stretch of the imagination, I assure you, computer literate. But that doesn't mean I don't recognize the potential and the future that this industry and, and the development of this industry is going to bring into our area. Tonight we talk about supporting quality in your home on your television set. To challenge your young people so that they too might grow up with the same challenges, the same, uh, the same desire to succeed, the same desire to know that the people who surrounded Bill Gates grew up with and look what they accomplished. It, it's there. Uh, the story of computers may be the greatest story in the history of the free enterprise system because it's just starting. It is, it's in its infancy. I mean, when we talk about the success of the industry and you see such success, you think, oh boy, this is, it's huge now. Well, it is. But by comparison to what it's going to be, just starting, just starting. Please call us, please support public television, support the station that brings you the program. Somehow, it's just got a more relaxing feel, and I, I find that uh, I can just tune in 
and keep keep it there all night, you know. And then you realize, oh, it's eleven o'clock bedtime. But uh, but I haven't been up and down to the fridge a hundred times as I have. So actually, KCTS nine is a brilliant dieting tool because the programming is so good, and even the promos and upcoming programs are so good. You don't get a chance to get up and get that uh, third chicken leg. Thank you, Scott. A few words from one of our volunteers up in Vancouver, uh, encouraging you, all the folks in Western Washington and British Columbia to give us a call if you support good programming on public television. Now, what is the biggest benefit for your subscription to Channel 9? Well, obviously, it is the great programming. Here are a couple of other reasons, though, and a couple of other things that come to you with your support for Channel 9. First, 12 issues of 9 magazine. This is a four-color magazine that comes to you every month. It has wonderful articles about the programming on Channel 9 and a complete schedule, a rundown of what's on Channel 9 so you can set your VCR if you're going to be away for an important program. Another one is, of course, the Channel 9 store, and this is a beautiful new store in the Rainier Square uh, in downtown Seattle, and if you go in any time and you're a subscriber, a 10% discount on all the books, tapes, merchandise, wonderful toys and games for children, all of that with your subscription to Channel 9. But of course, again, 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 it is the benefit of being part of great television, intelligent television. Television. television that will broaden your mind and discourage and maybe give you a new look at some other kind of aspect that you didn't know about. We covered the Republican convention last week. We're going on to cover the Democratic convention next week. Public television is there to tell the stories of what's going on in America and in the world. And that's most important to me and obviously the best, best benefit to Channel 9. So if that's important to you, if we have some intelligent people who appreciate intelligent television out there, please do call the number that you see on the bottom of your screen. Give us a call now and subscribe to Channel 9. Intelligent television. You know, without Channel 9, that would be an oxymoron. So what's an oxymoron? Well, you know. Listen, um, everybody here, I feel I'm doing my part down here by coming down and volunteering. And I volunteer because I don't get to watch a lot of television. When I do, I gravitate to Channel 9. I enjoy Channel 9. Now, the room is full of volunteers who are here to answer your phone calls. But unfortunately, they're not getting that many. Is that subtle enough for you? So we'd like you to go and pick up the phone and become a subscriber. I'm going to talk to the gentleman sitting on my... Well, I'm assuming he's a gentleman. I'm using the term loosely because I don't really know him all that well, but I'm going to get him to introduce himself. Hi, what's your name, first of all? Eric Hood. Eric, what do you do? I am CEO of Northwest Net. CEO, is that something polite? Uh, that's something polite, <laughs> yes. What did Northwest Net do? Northwest Net is the largest and oldest provider of Internet services to corporations of all sizes throughout the Pacific Northwest. They're the largest and oldest yeah. provider of services. Now, I bet you didn't think you were going to get an opportunity to make a plug like that on Channel 9. Uh, well, I wasn't sure that we would, but uh, we've got about 12 volunteers down here answering the phone tonight, so we're all having a good time and taking pledges for Channel 9. Okay, why are you here? We're here because uh, we believe in Channel 9, we believe in public TV, we believe in the quality programming, and in fact, uh, not only can you call in and make your pledge over the telephone, but we made our corporate pledge over the web just yesterday. So you can actually log in and make your pledge over the web. Oh, how about that? Hey, of course, you have to be wired for that, right? You've got to be on it. You have to be fully wired, and that means you have to come to Northwest Net and get your corporate connection, so. <laughs> what a plug. What a plug, eh? Now, I'm going to, I'm going to talk, and, and they said they didn't advertise on Channel 9, eh? I'm now going to talk to the lady, I'm now going to talk to the lady on my right. Hi, and this actually, this is great. I've got to say this. I'm going to talk to a real angel. True. Hi, what's your name? Angel Pilato. Told you. Hey, Angel, you're with LeTip. What do LeTip do? LeTip is an organization of business people, okay, who every week meet to pass out leads to each other so we can promote our business. Okay, and what's your specific business? Uh, well, my business is I'm president of Knob Hill Investment Company, and I uh, buy notes and deeds of trust. Uh, how about that? i got a president on one side and a CEO on the other. I just rub shoulders with the best of people. Angel, why are you here? To, and an angel beside you. Why are you here tonight? I'm here tonight to uh, get as much money as I possibly can for KT. Tell, us, nine. tell those people out there, they're watching you. We've what do you want them to do? We've got a goal, and we want to get $45,000 tonight, and we got to have your calls, so keep on calling. Yes! $45,000. Now, is that $45,000 Canadian or U.S.? It's U.S. <laughs> okay, $45,000. These people have a goal in mind. You can help them reach it. I would ask you, help Angel, help Eric, and everybody else that's here make their goal tonight. But you have to do it. There's no sense sitting watching this at home. 
you have to pick up the phone and become a subscriber. So please, make it worth all our while. Pick up the phone now. Thanks a lot. Help them help Channel 9. Told you these people were success motivated. I tell you, it's, it, it's fun to be around people like that. It is. It truly is. Uh, and by the way, we got a long way to go to make that goal. So those of you who have been sitting at home thinking, should I call, shouldn't I call? Yes, you should. You should do it during the next break. But right now, we're going back to part five of the uh, Triumph of the Nerds, a full hour of the program yet to go. is so much to this program. Uh, the thought struck my mind as they were talking about the Macintosh that Bill Gates could have built a computer, but he didn't. He built the things that run all computers. So Microsoft is in everything. It seems to me that was a pretty basic decision and a pretty smart one. Another decision that was made was that graphics were important as well as information being important. Uh, gee, graphics just weren't a big thing before computers. They really weren't. And that was a pretty darn good decision made on the part of Microsoft. Uh, you see a lot of history here, don't you? Well, we're, we're, we're very grateful to those of you who have called. I, you know, it's difficult to, to sit here and say that uh, things are a little bit slow tonight, especially since they're a lot slow. But we really need you to call, and, and that's not to demean the people who have called. We are very grateful to you who have called. But you know, when you've got a program like this, folks, and you know you've got tens of thousands of people watching, and you're, you're sitting there saying, boy, we got 18 calls, 18, one eight out of 10,000, doesn't make any sense. Does not make any sense. If you'd like to have a premium, why not? They're, you know, they're, they're interesting premiums. Uh, as I mentioned to you, the Accidental Empires book at the $50 level uh, is an excellent premium at the $50 level. The Triumph of the Nerds, the three videos set at the $125 level, or both the uh, video and the book, at the $150 level. We right now, folks, have two people calling. Two. Two. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's because we're doing it in August. Could that be? Oh, I don't know. We normally don't pledge in August. Why are we doing it this year in August? Well, quite simply, because we didn't want to do any pledge around Ken Burns' epic uh, series that's coming up in September called the, the West, The History of the West. Uh, the political conventions of, of both parties, the political coverage of the general election in the fall, uh, a whole lot of programs that we didn't want to interrupt with pledge breaks. So we decided for the first time that I can remember in 20 years to do four days, and this is the fourth one, in August. Now, if you folks think that we can bring you a three-part program like this for two calls, uh, it isn't going to work. You, you must have some idea of what it costs to run a television station. Uh, just to keep the lights on, for heaven's sakes, would knock my utility bill off the, the, the pike, and so yours too, probably. The point is, we need your help. And, and we need it on the basis of the public is going to be responsible and is going to be supportive of public television, or the way things are going and, and the new way of doing things, public television simply won't exist anymore. Now, I'm not saying it's going to end this year or next year or the year after, but the future does not look good unless the public steps forward. And that's, that's all there is to it. And, and I, I wish there were another way of doing it. I wish just quality itself was enough of a reason to have it on the air. Used to be, used to be, commercial television used to have great programming, and, and still does have great programming, but not this kind of programming, okay? Please call and support it. It's your public television network. It is your obligation. It's your opportunity. Now, if you're a Microsoft, you're used to taking advantage of opportunities. Take advantage of this one. We're talking about a uh, in this program, they're talking about a process that's happened, actually, in a very tight span of, of 20 years. In fact, they were talking about the Apple Macintosh, which was uh, in the early 80s, 80, 82, 84. So we're actually talking about 12 to 14 years. Now, I remember 12 to 14 years ago, KCTS 9, when I used to come down here to volunteer, used to be over at the University of Washington. Well, let me tell you, if you're sitting at home and you're expecting other people to pick up the phone, and you're not picking up the phone and becoming a subscriber. 
we're going to end up back at the University of Washington. That is allowing that we manage to stay on the air. Because the fact of the matter is, we need your subscriptions. We need you to become a supporter of Channel 9. It's people like you sitting at home who are watching this program and hopefully enjoying it that are the backbone of Channel 9. It's people like you who we need to pick up the phone and support. It's not good enough to say, well, let somebody else do it. There's over, what, 60 channels that you can get to pick from, but there's only one or two of them that are really worthwhile watching, and you know Channel 9's one of them. So please, give us some serious thought and pick up the phone. Thanks a lot. You know, it must be that the computer nerds have woken up and are finally calling in, and we're glad to hear you're calling, hoping that every one of you is uh, giving us a pledge of support. Angel here is working the phones hard. Let me tell you, folks, if you get Angel, she is determined to make our goal here. She is she's a wild woman here, so call her now just to get her settled down here. Give her your pledge of support, because it is the individuals, as we said earlier, it's you and the people down the street and the folks up in British Columbia that keep good television, like the program you're watching today we had tonight we had to practically peel the volunteers away from the television screen to get them to sit back down and take your call so please make it worth their while to get this good to pledge around this great program and show your support for this wonderful wonderful story of how the computer industry was started and how it is flourishing so give us a call now we went from two to 31 thank you very much you know I've it sounds like I'm really greedy, but still, out of thousands of people watching, 31, not that much, but thank you so much. It makes a huge difference, folks, huge difference. Very quickly, the premiums, the Accidental Empire book uh, at the $50 level, how computers started. I'm not so sure it was accidental, but we'll go with the title. The Triumph of the Nerds, the three video set that we're watching tonight at the $125 level, and the book and the video set at the $150 level. Uh, for my friends out at Microsoft, I have some very good news. It's, it's going to be another epic in the history of computers next week. My workstation gets a computer, and I think I'm about one of two that doesn't have one, right? Uh, so uh, the, the, the whole thing expands, the whole thing <laughs> spreads, and I'm going to be wondering how to turn it on. But we'll learn. We will learn. Uh, I, I want to thank all of the folks who have called tonight, particularly those of you from Microsoft, quite simply because you are in a matching situation. And by that I mean quite simply that if you subscribe, I, I just heard a, a subscription for $125 here. If uh, that was a Microsoft employee or one of the other companies that's in our matching program, uh, that means that Channel 9 gets $250. $125 from you, $125 from your employer. That is a really fine thing, and Microsoft was one of the first companies to sign up for that and have been with us for a long time. This is an opportunity tonight to make sure that programming like this has a place and that information, the, the information story of computers is sent out to people who are not computer literate, like myself, but in an interesting way that makes us understand what has happened, what is happening, and maybe even take a guess as to what might happen in the future. An exciting future, wide open, uh, explosive, right now. Maybe the best time in the history of the world to be alive. Uh, it is exciting, and tonight is an exciting night at Channel 9 just because of the programming that we're airing. And the ability to air it in a way where you don't have to be a technician to understand it. Is that worthwhile? I think it might be. Give us a call. We tend not to view it as an American station. It's not like the other stations in Seattle, which are very definitely seen as U.S. stations. For some reason, British Columbians see KCTS as kind of global. It sort of crosses the border. It kind of transcends being uh, out there or, or an American station. And I think that just because it is good, such good quality programming, a British Columbian doesn't view it as a British Columbian supporting an American channel. It's just supporting public television. Yes, there's no question as I go about my regular business in Vancouver and in British Columbia, a lot of people recognize me and they tell me that they watch Channel 9 and they're very proud of the fact. As it happens, last week I happened to have some time off and I was over in West Vancouver. I didn't tell anybody in West Vancouver I was going and so they let me in. I was driving along West Vancouver heading back towards my neck of the woods and uh, there was a car in front of me and I had one of the license plate holders. It was a KCTS9 license plate holder and it was a big, big car, fairly older model vehicle. 
and it was the she who must be obeyed license plate holder and I thought hey Channel 9 supporter obviously what concerned me was the person that was driving it was a male and I wondered if she who must be obeyed actually knew her husband had assume it was her husband had the car you know but there's a lot of people out there a lot of people up in Vancouver British Columbia all over British Columbia Penticton Vernon Kelowna all in the interior all in the northern interior up in Prince George and up and down Vancouver Island who also support Channel 9 and yes we do take it seriously we do accept some ownership of the station we don't do that necessarily because we support the Americans but we do enjoy the programming that Channel 9 brings us and there's enough people up in BC who support that programming by becoming subscribers so I would say to you if you enjoy Channel 9 if you enjoy the quality of programming which Channel 9 brings you please give see in fact better than give serious consideration become a subscriber but it's as easy as dialing the number go ahead we're waiting for your call well now we're going to talk about corporate match and what i would really like to do is just like stephen jobs did when he rolled macintosh across we should just roll microsoft across because microsoft is one of the many corporations in the puget sound area that will match their employees uh, gift to channel nine and this is of course a wonderful wonderful thing for us because your gift goes twice as far here at channel nine and uh, just looked over here at the to the volunteer on my left and of course he's taking a subscribe Description from a Microsoft employee, which means that her, and I think it is a her, a corporate match or her gift will go twice as far here at Channel 9. Uh, what better program for you Microsoft employees to support than this history of the computer industry? So give us a call now. Very easy. You see at the bottom of the screen. Give us a call, whether you're in British Columbia or Western Washington. Show your support for good programming on Channel 9 here. Do it now. You know, as I, as I talk to people and say, oh, you know, I'm a subscriber to Channel 9, I say, oh, really, when, when did you last subscribe? They say, oh, you know, a couple of years ago. So you're not really still a subscriber. A lot of people think because they've subscribed once that that's it. Really, your subscription's good for about a year, for a year, and then we would ask you to consider resubscribing, if not at this particular time, when your subscription runs out. So if you subscribe in September, maybe you'll consider picking up the phone and becoming a subscriber or calling a local office up in Vancouver, or wherever you happen to be. But remember, once a subscriber, always a subscriber. But to always be a subscriber, you have to subscribe. So please, give it some serious consideration. I've already said that. Pick up the phone and become a subscriber. Thanks a lot. I'll tell you one thing tonight's programs have uh, made me aware of how exciting it is to live in the same area, the same community as a Bill Gates or a Paul Allen and to see that, uh, that creativity, that drive, that, that determination to succeed and to, to see the opportunities, seize the opportunities and also to make the right decisions, to see the market and to be able to exploit it. That, that's exciting to be in the same area. Kind of fun, isn't it, huh? I hope during the next break, which will be our last one, we're coming up on the last portion of the program now, that you will decide to go to the phone and call. To all of you who did call during this break, thank you very much. You saved us. There were only two, and then we went all of a sudden to 35. Bless your hearts. We're going back to the conclusion of the program. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, and I, I hope that the, uh, the last five minutes of the program made you dream a little bit as to where this whole industry, this whole information computer explosion is headed. Obviously, there is a difference of opinion and uh, some very uh, obvious differences in various roads that they could follow. They may follow them all. May follow them all. Who knows? Uh, but I'll tell you something, it's going to be fun to watch, as it has been fascinating to watch tonight's programming, which uh, kind of summarizes the last 20 years of what has happened in the computer industry. This is your last opportunity to call and support this program. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, this is the last night of pledge for the month of August. We're going to come back and do seven days in September, and then, uh, you know, that, that's, uh, that's going to be our fall pledge drive, folks. We've actually cut two days of pledge out of our fall drive, uh, with the understanding that, that we've got an agreement, okay? 
and the agreement is that when we're here asking, you're going to respond. That way we can cut down some days and stay out of your face in your programming as much as possible. Please go to the phone right now and call. We need a great last break to pull this one off, and you're out there. You can do it. Okay, the premiums that we're offering, if you're interested in a premium, at the $50 level, the Accidental Empire book, uh, the, the, a book that actually reads like a novel uh, as to what happened and what is happening in the computer industry. The Triumph of the Nerds, the three videotapes that we saw tonight, actually we saw the three programs tonight in their entirety. The home video is in three tapes and you get all three at the $125 level, the entire program that you saw tonight. Then the book and the video set at the $150 level. And based on the information we have, quite a few of you have done that. Uh, once again, I want to remind you folks that if you work for a company that matches, uh, you know, some very, very serious money can be raised for public television tonight. But most of all, I, I want to emphasize to you that this, this tonight is not about premiums. It's not about getting something in the mail or tapes or anything like that. How many? We've got six people on the phone right now. Six. Uh, we don't do it with six. You, know, you just don't do it with six. This is about whether or not programming like this, programming that is meaningful and intelligent, comprehensible, okay, to those people who are not computer literate, but so they know what's happening in an exploding industry that perhaps, as we sit here tonight, perhaps might be the most, the leading industry in the world today, from a, a zero start 20 years ago. Never happened before in the history of the world. Exciting times, I'm here to tell you, and it was public television that put it to you in a, in a format that we could understand. Those of us who are not computer literate, as they say, uh, but we know what's happening and we've stretched our envelope of knowledge. That's what this is about. You know, and it's about supporting a public television station and a public television service that each and every day does something good for people you care about. Every single day. I mean, you can't say that about many things in this world, can you? Please call. We need your help. We certainly need more than six people to call. You know that. I know that. So let's all go to the phone right now. Call. Get the job done. And uh, go to bed and sleep real good. Call. your voice to the couple of six people who have called in. There are a few more, but we can handle a lot more folks. If you enjoyed this program, please go to the phone and bring with you your credit card. That way you can have that number ready to give to the volunteers and you can pay up your support to Channel 9. We have MasterCard, Visa, Discover, American Express. We take all types of credit cards here at Channel 9. But it is so important, as George told you, that if you enjoy intelligent television programming, and here we have such a wonderful example of what public television does best, which is to tell the story about the forces that shape our lives. And here we have a wonderful telling about the computer industry, such a forceful, forceful impact here in our lives in the Pacific Northwest. Please, if you've enjoyed this, call the number that you see on the bottom of your screen and give us a, so, your support. Talk with our volunteers, bring your credit card with you, and become a member of Channel 9. It's getting to that time when most good boys like myself should be in their bed, but if you're sitting up watching, it's probably because you've enjoyed the programming. It's certainly not because you enjoy listening to us asking you to become a subscriber. Now, you may think it's a pain in the neck or some other part of your anatomy but the fact of the matter is if, if we don't come here and ask you to become a subscriber you wouldn't be a subscriber and there are so many television channels out there that you don't have to subscribe to you can watch them and you don't have to feel guilty about whether or not you're a subscriber or whether or not you're contributing but the fact of the matter is that channel 9 brings you the kind of quality programming that it brings you and it's able to do that with your assistance as a subscriber so I would ask you to seriously think hard about it. If you've been a viewer of Channel 9 for a long time and never become a subscriber, well, it's time to uh, give it a break. It's time to try it, become a subscriber, and support the kind of programming that you obviously enjoy. Let's face it, as I alluded to earlier, there's over 50 channels that you can pick up, but there's certainly not 50 channels that are worth watching. KCTS 9 is intelligent television. It's television worth watching. Television worth watching is television worth supporting. So please, give serious consideration. Become a subscriber. Thanks a lot. One of the things that was pointed out in the program tonight, I thought very, very graphically, was the competition 
for achievement, i.e. competition for your job. Uh, and, and a thought struck me as, as Jim was just talking. I wonder what would have happened to the job of a vice president of a commercial network who would go into the president of the commercial network and say, let's do a three-hour program on the history of computers and where he's looking for job tonight. But public television doesn't look at it that way. Public television looked at it as a challenge to find out the true story of what has happened to an industry that is all still uh, tonight is in a tremendous state of change, constant change, constant flux, constant development of new products that change maybe even the purpose of old products. Uh, pretty difficult to write a history for something that has really very little history but a fantastic future. But that's what they accomplished tonight, and I thought they did it in a remarkable way. I hope you agree. I hope you will find that that is a worthwhile reason to call and support public television in your home. If you subscribe each year, public television will continue to bring you programming like this. If you don't, well, then you're not going to get this kind of programming. And by that, I mean you're not going to get it. Remember, public television uh, has taken the place of much of the programming that you and I, if those of you who are my age, enjoyed on commercial television a long time ago. Information programs, uh, great documentaries, Victory at Sea, my gosh, one of the great series ever done. Uh, great shows, great documentary, great history, uh, great information programs, music, not there anymore. They're here on public television and we ask you to support it. If you'd like to get a premium, please do. At the $50 level, this is the book that uh, really has been kind of the, the Bible or the, the unwritten history, and now the written history, I guess, of accidental empires, the development of the computer industry. The Triumph of the Nerds, the three video set, the program that we, uh, programs, I guess, that we'd have to say tonight that we enjoyed at the $125 level and the book and the video at the $150 level. But one more time, I want to remind you, this isn't about premiums. This is about your commitment to quality television in your home, meaningful television. Did you enjoy tonight's program? Have you called? If the answer is yes and then a no, then maybe you better go to the phone and make the call right now. We still have time, and we certainly still need your call. As George was saying, yes, this is not about premiums, but I was just thinking, what a great, great a holiday gift that this tape would make. So if you are, maybe have someone in your family, a daughter, son, who is involved in the computer industry and may be hard to buy for, hey, this is a great holiday gift. Get the, 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 uh, the videotape package and show your support for Channel 9. Of course, the premiums are just our thank you gift for your support. There are lots and lots of other good reasons to support public television, one being Nine Magazine, which comes to you 12 times a year, and also the Channel 9 store where you get a 10% discount every time. But the most important thing is to be a part of public television. And that means to be a part of intelligent, careful, uh, caring television here. And if you will do your part, we will continue to bring you great programming. So we need to hear from you. It's our last break tonight. Give us a call. Fascinating evening of television. I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. Uh, it's something that I know it's been shown before, but I hadn't seen it before. And uh, I was somewhat interrupted tonight because I didn't get a chance to sit and listen to it in peace and quiet. But I hope they show it again because I will thoroughly enjoy it. Of course, I could become a subscriber and get the free videotapes, right? Good idea. Why don't I think about that? Well, I'm thinking about that. Why don't you think about becoming a subscriber? Why don't you pick up the phone and support the kind of television that you enjoy? I want to say a big thank you to all the volunteers who have been here tonight from Le Tip, from Northwest Net. Uh, a big thank you to Classic Limousine who brought me down here from Vancouver and who I hope have hung around long enough to take me back to Vancouver and I hope when I get back to Vancouver, at least back to BC, they'll let me in. Uh, and I want to thank those of you who have taken the time and trouble to become subscribers tonight. We really do appreciate it. It's your support that makes the programming on Channel 9 possible. Thank you, thank you very, very much. From me, good night, and now it's back to Sharon. Sure it is. <laughs> oh dear, I should look as good as Sharon, huh? Okay, I want to thank uh, the people from Northwest Net and the Tip too for being here this evening and uh, doing such a wonderful job. This is a this is an inspired group of people who I want you to know something. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, you're right. 
You folks now can wave and give yourself a round of applause. There you go. Once, once a night, whether you like it or not. Here you go. Okay. And they did a, they did a remarkable job. The fun part of coming into this room while they were here was just before we would go into each break, they, there would be like 50 people in front of the big screen we have in this studio watching the program. Not bad, huh? Uh, to Sharon Griggins and to Jim Gallagher, thank you very much. To uh, Classic Limousine and Chauffeurs for getting Jim down here and home safely, we are sure. Uh, sincere thanks. Most of all, our very great thanks to more than four, the almost, well, I'd say more than 400 individuals, couples, and families who picked tonight to support Channel 9. I hope you folks have a great night, and we will talk to you again but the second week or the first week in September. But until then, you have yourself a good time. And remember, if you're not a subscriber to Channel 9, you could start right now. The goal of 24 Hours Observed was to photograph as many people from as many different walks of life as possible all within the 24-hour period. Uh, we would shoot people at all hours, at work, on the street, uh, and at play. I think we got three or four good images so far. You want me looking straight in? The locations were ones where we thought we could get a really good cross-section of, of people. Um, we wanted to be as diverse as, as we could. Come out. you got to come out. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. And look at me. Okay. Point. Yeah. And me. Good. Uh oh. That's a good one. We'll give you a copy in a second. The the thing that convinced I think almost everyone to be a part of this project was the fact that we were shooting Polaroid 665, which is an instant negative, instant print product. So you get a print right there and you get a negative. <laughs> I think it's a good thing to stop, take a breather. Okay, so five minutes, we'll get up. Okay? In five minutes. Seattle to me has never been a, an enormous city. But now it is. Can I get you to look in the camera? Look in the lens? Now there, I mean, we, we met so many people that I would have never come in contact with or known anything about. Uh, it just boggles the mind that all this is happening around you and you're so oblivious to it. <laughs>